For decades, Toyota built its empire on quiet strength, the kind of confidence that never needed noise to prove its power. It became the world's most trusted name in mobility, quietly moving millions of people across the globe. But something has changed. In a raw and striking moment, Toyota's CEO stepped into the spotlight with a message that stunned the industry. Our new dynamic force engine will destroy the competition. That was not just a challenge. It was a declaration, a signal that Toyota is done standing in the shadows while others steal the headlines. So, what exactly is this engine? And why is Toyota so certain it will leave everyone else behind? Let's uncover the story behind Toyota's boldest move yet, the game plan that could redefine the future of internal combustion. Toyota is not just improving its engines. It is reinventing how they work for the world that is coming next. The new Dynamic Force Engine series represents a radical rethink of traditional powertrains at a time when most automakers are going all in on electric vehicles. These are not small tweaks or minor upgrades. They are the centerpiece of a long-term strategy linked to Toyota's global design system, Tinge, or Toyota New Global Architecture. This platform allows Toyota to build cars that are lighter, stronger, and more efficient, and to do it faster and smarter than before. While others rush to abandon combustion entirely, Toyota is taking a different path, one that blends the old with the new. The dynamic force engines are designed to deliver powerful performance, impressive fuel efficiency, and dramatically lower emissions. Even more impressively, they can run on alternative fuels like ethanol or even hydrogen. Toyota's leadership believes the internal combustion engine is not dead, not yet. In fact, it still has an essential role to play in the global shift toward cleaner mobility. The new dynamic force engines are designed to work with Toyota's THEA platform. THEA is a system that allows different cars to share the same parts and design. This helps reduce production time and makes it easier to use the same engine in many types of vehicles. For example, the same engine could be used in both a small sedan and a larger SUV without needing a full redesign. This system helps engineers focus on making engines better instead of starting from scratch each time. It also allows Toyota to bring updates and improvements to many models more quickly. This approach saves money, reduces waste, and supports future changes like switching to new types of fuel. The dynamic force engines focus on more than just speed or power. They are built to be efficient, reliable, and better for the environment. One of the most important changes is their high thermal efficiency, meaning the engine can turn more fuel into usable energy rather than losing it as heat. These engines also use a longer piston stroke and a mix of fuel injection methods to improve performance and reduce emissions. Cooling systems are also more advanced. Electric water pumps and better temperature control help the engine stay at the right temperature, making it last longer and work better in different weather conditions. Every part of the engine was designed with care to support both performance and fuel savings. The Dynamic Force series includes three types of engines, a three-cylinder, a four-cylinder, and a V6. The i3 is small and uses less fuel, which is good for compact cars. The i4 is the most common type found in many mid-size cars. The V6 is stronger and made for larger vehicles that need more power. Each engine can work with several types of fuel. Toyota is testing options like ethanol and hydrogen. These engines are also designed to work with hybrid systems, so they can be used in both fuel-only and hybrid cars. This gives Toyota many options when building new vehicles. Toyota builds these engines using its global factories. The design allows for flexible production, so the same engine can be made in different countries with local parts. This saves time and money while keeping quality high. It also helps Toyota deal with supply issues or changing demand in different regions. Because these engines follow the TNG system, Toyota can quickly adjust production based on local needs. For example, if one market needs more ethanol-based engines, Toyota can shift resources without major changes. This kind of flexibility is useful in today's fast-changing industry. The dynamic force engines give Toyota an advantage. While other companies are moving away from fuel engines, Toyota is improving them to meet both current and future needs. These engines are ready for multiple types of energy and work well with hybrid systems. Toyota's vision is to use dynamic force derived hydrogen engines for niches where battery electric vehicles may fall short, such as long, distance driving, heavy, duty use, or cold climates. If scalability challenges can be resolved, these engines could become a pillar of Toyota's diversified zero emissions roadmap. 
Toyota has committed to carbon neutrality by 2050, and dynamic force engines play a strategic role in that vision, especially over the next 15 to 20 years. Unlike some rivals who aim to phase out internal combustion engines by 2030, Toyota believes a multi-path strategy is more practical and inclusive for emerging markets. In the company's roadmap, dynamic force engines will gradually shift toward exclusive use in electrified powertrains, including hybrids and plug-in hybrids. Pure internal combustion engine variants will slowly phase out as electrification expands. By the early 2030s, most Toyota vehicles are expected to use dynamic force technology in some hybridized form, delivering low emissions and reduced fuel consumption at scale. Simultaneously, Toyota will continue investing in solid-state batteries, full electric vehicles, and hydrogen fuel cells. But unlike competitors who are betting on one solution, Toyota is hedging its bets, allowing its dynamic force architecture to act as a reliable backbone for markets that are not yet electric, vehicle ready. This hedging is not indecision. It is strategic flexibility. The global transition to zero emissions will not be uniform, and Toyota's strategy ensures it has a scalable, efficient, and proven internal combustion engine hybrid option ready to meet customers wherever they are on the path to electrification. Toyota's bold claim must also contend with a different kind of competition from manufacturers who have completely abandoned combustion engines. Tesla, BID, and other EV-only players are redefining what powertrain innovation means by removing internal combustion engines from the equation entirely. Tesla, for instance, has pushed the industry toward ultra-efficient electric drivetrains with permanent magnet motors, silicon carbide inverters, and high-voltage battery packs. Byte has taken a more integrated approach with its ePlatform 3.0, combining blade batteries, compact motors, and advanced power electronics into a tightly optimized package. Furthermore, the engineering philosophy behind the dynamic force engine is one of continuous improvement, a core tenet of Toyota's production system. These engines are not st They are platforms designed for ongoing refinement. As new fuel blends become available or as hybrid system technology advances, the dynamic force architecture can be adapted. This future proofing is a critical advantage. It means that a vehicle built today with a dynamic force engine is not destined for immediate obsolescence. Instead, it is part of a living, evolving ecosystem of mobility. Toyota is betting that this commitment to a smooth, inclusive transition will foster greater long-term brand loyalty than a more abrupt, all-or-nothing approach taken by some of its competitors. The answer lies not in a binary verdict of success or failure, but in the broader strategic landscape Toyota is navigating. The dynamic force engine represents the culmination of decades of incremental mastery, now focused through the lens of a deliberate and patient transition strategy. Toyota's approach acknowledges a complex global reality. The energy transition is a marathon, not a sprint, and the finish line looks different in every region. This calculated path is not without its critics. Some argue that by continuing to invest heavily in internal combustion refinement, Toyota is diverting resources and attention from the pure electric future it must ultimately embrace. The risk is falling behind in battery technology and software to find vehicle platforms, areas where newer competitors have a head start. The destroy the competition proclamation may resonate in factories and boardrooms, but on the innovation frontier, the competition is defining an entirely new race. In markets like China and Norway, EVs already outsell combustion vehicles. In these environments, Toyota's dynamic force engine is not a threat. It is irrelevant. However, the world is not homogeneous. In Africa, Southeast Asia, Latin America, and parts of the U.S., infrastructure and cost barriers remain. In these regions, Toyota's hybrid and internal combustion engine offerings continue to outsell EVs by a wide margin. Toyota's argument is simple. Until EVs are cheap enough, clean enough, and fast enough to charge anywhere in the world, dynamic force engines, especially in hybrid form, offer a more realistic, scalable solution. And for now, the sales data agrees. While many competitors can match Toyota in innovation, few can rival its production scale, vertical integration, and reliability history. Toyota builds millions of dynamic force engines annually, supported by a supply chain optimized for everything from raw casting to final assembly. Toyota's dynamic force engine is not just a technical upgrade. It is a statement, a reminder that the internal combustion engine still has fight left in it. And Toyota is not ready to give up its crown without a battle. As rivals rush toward full electrification, Toyota is quietly building something far more strategic, far more calculated. But in a rapidly changing auto industry, will this bold engine be remembered as a masterstroke or a missed opportunity?